What's going on guys? Thanks for stopping by. I'm wearing green today because we're going to look at a Rolex alternative in sort of the price point category. If you want to stay around a thousand dollars but you want a green dive watch that gives you sort of the the fit and feel of the Rolex Hulk but you still want a Swiss watch, we're going to take a look at one today in a brand you may have discounted in a watch you may not have even known existed. So Stick around, we'll be right back. All right guys, so most of us know the 11610LV, otherwise known as the Rolex Hulk. And you may have also seen the Way 2015.BA0927, the green aqua racer, or maybe even this Oris Aquas, this beautiful green dial, green bezel Oris, or this black bezel green dial 65 or Diver 65. But what you may not have thought about when looking for a uh, homage to the Hulk is this Movado. So we're going to be taking a look at Movado today. A lot of people think of Movado as that traditional, you know, gold or silver uh, dress piece with your one, uh, your one indicator at 12 and then no numbers, nothing on the dial, pretty simple, that sort of thing. This is a dive watch. Um, they're doing more and more sport pieces. Um, I honestly feel like they, they still have a ways to go in their sport models. But, uh, you know, gone are the solid dials with no indices. Uh, the boxes have been improved. They just recently improved these cases. I think it's a huge, huge step forward to the two-piece box that you previously got that looked like uh, quite frankly, sort of a, sort of a Casio box. Um, but the Movado, you have your, your outer sheath, then you have your outer box, then this inner box. And the inner box is actually really, really nice. You have your, um, you have your owner's manual or your instruction manual. Not much to be said for that. Uh, so we won't say anything. And then you have your ID card or your, your hang tag with the model and the price. Price at $995. This is the uh, 302-152-602 model. And uh, it is the green bezel, green dial on stainless steel case and bracelet and uh, this is a quartz piece uh, Swiss quartz nonetheless quartz so timekeeping is going to be way more accurate than your automatic yet you are going to get that ticking second hand uh, if you opt for this one which is the non-chronograph version this is time and date uh, you can see this box a lot better than previous models I like that it's a one-piece box I like the material that they've used to uh, uh, to create it. So within the box, um, you have your uh, Movado. So let's take a look at it. Um, this looks a little black in some lighting, this sort of low lighting in the studio. Uh, so you get sort of this black look. They do have the black model of this same watch. Uh, and we'll delve into the colors. Uh, look at their website here in a second. But you can see it is a butterfly deployant clasp, uh, double push uh, to extend that deployant, which is the butterfly style. So you're going to have uh, an attachment on either side to keep that clasp dead center of the wrist. You do have the ticking away of that center seconds. You do still have the traditional uh, little pip, little emblem at 12 uh, that Movado is known for. But as you see, you have indices on every minute except for the 3 o'clock, which is going to give you your uh, time window. I'm sorry, not time window, your date window. 
Uh, there's not even such a thing as a time window. I don't know what I'm doing. It's early in the morning, guys. You'll have to forgive me. Looking on the website, you can see they have extended their sport models by like a thousand times over what previously they may have had. All with indices uh, for the number track, um, most with external bezels, uh, most with rotating external bezels, uh, although not all. Also, most quartz, although not all quartz. But going back to the one we are looking at today, if I can scroll a little higher, it's the Series 800. And uh, they have it on their website in blue and black and gold. We're going to look at the black model. It's the exact same watch that we're looking at today, just in black, not in the green. I'm not seeing the green on the website these days, guys, so I don't know if this is a production model that has been uh, ended, that the, that the production has ceased on it. But at any rate, retail is $995 for this Movado. Movado means always in motion, uh, something I did not know. They were founded in Switzerland in 1881 by a 19-year-old entrepreneur. Man, if I could have come up with something anything when I was 19. That would have been great. But when I was 19, I was too busy getting in trouble, as I'm sure most of us were. Um, it has uh, uh, patents of over 100 uh, for the company, which is fascinating to me. It's something I did not know. Within the technical details, you have your, in our case, uh, green uh, printed indexes, 40 millimeter case, stainless steel, uh, Swiss quartz. Uh, and then again, you have your uh, date wheel uh, with your date window at three o'clock. Here you can see the aluminum green bezel and the bezel is something of contention for me. We'll get into that. This odd sort of shape of the side, the case back, I really like. And uh, looking at that side profile again, it sits fantastic on my six and three quarters wrist as I try to move this bezel and cannot. Uh, but uh, on the six and three quarters wrist, it fits amazing. You can see how you deploy this uh, butterfly clasp to get it completely centered on the wrist. I love the feel on my six and three quarters wrist. I keep mentioning the size of my wrist because you can see how it tapers perfectly. If you have a seven and a half inch wrist, I feel like that's going to dig into the sides of it. Uh, at 40 millimeters, it fits fantastic. This is a beautiful watch, something I did not expect from Movado. I love the darker sort of hunter green. I love the brushed corners of the um, bracelet with the polished center, the brushed uh, case. It is a screw down crown because we're talking dive watch. First pull, you have a super fast date set so fast you can go past the date if you're not careful second pull gonna be time spin that thing towards you it's a fairly quick time set and then screw it down once again to provide that water resistance so when we talk about water resistance we're talking 300 meters uh, we do have the unidirectional aluminum dive bezel or I should say a uh, steel dive bezel with aluminum green insert. It is near impossible to turn. Now, I'm sure they did that based off of the fact that it's a dive bezel. They don't want it to move. They wa don't want it to have play. Uh, but setting it is difficult. That's my really my only other complaint other than the shape for larger wrists. And we're going to look at that once again. And you can see the deployant or the uh, butterfly deployant is a little more difficult to clasp than a traditional deployant. But you can see 
how this ends on my six and three quarters wrist. Anything larger, I feel like you're going to have issues with the fit and comfort of this watch. But if you're a seven inch wrist or below, I think you're gonna love it. This watch feels to me like it was made for that medium to smaller wrist size in this 40 millimeter sweet spot, 20 millimeter lug width. Uh, let's get back to this dive bezel. This is difficult. I'm, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It's just difficult. Partially due to the shape and thickness of the bezel, partially due to the tightness of the bezel, but it's a lot of work. If you are using that bezel purely for diving, that's probably a good thing because it's not going to move. If you're using that bezel to time literally anything else in your day, it's probably going to annoy you. I probably would never use that bezel purely because of that. The other thing that might annoy you if you're used to automatics as I spin this back around, uh, forgive me while I sweat through this. Uh, the other thing that might annoy you if you're used to automatics or manual wind um, analog watches is the fact that it is quartz, so you do have that tick. Uh, finally, back to 12, there's literally very little play. There's a perfect alignment, something that Seiko can't get right. If they produce two watches in a row, one of them is going to be misaligned. So they do a lot of things right with this watch. The escape or the uh, release for the deployment is super efficient. Uh, the clasp is super efficient. The finishing looks very nice. For a thousand dollar watch, this finishing looks better than the price point states. The case back looks better than the price point states. The clasp on it, the uh, butterfly clasp is better than the price point. The look of the watch is not a Rolex Hulk, obviously, but you can see where the inspiration came from. You can see that if you're a guy that doesn't wanna spend 13, 15 grand on a Rolex, doesn't mind having a quartz piece in his collection, this might be a wonderful alternative. We are talking dive watches here, so let's take a look at the loom inside. Inside you can see, it's actually quite surprising to me. I really did not expect the amount of loom that are on each indice here and the amount of loom that is in that centerpiece of those chromed, polished hour and minute hands. Uh, really pleased with that. I like how the reflection of the uh, loomed indice shows up on the side of the case internally. So you get these little like ghost dots above the indice as you rotate around the, uh, around the dial. Kind of cool. I would love to see a loomed bezel. It's a little bit much to ask for at a thousand dollars, but I do love this watch. I think it's a great buy at a grand. I don't think you should discount Movado. I think it would look great on one of our Straps Co. partnered straps. Uh, if you guys are looking for straps, definitely check out Straps Co. through my link. And check out my Teespring store also through the link below if you'd like any merchandise. Both of those help the channel. We appreciate both of those companies. Stay tuned for more very, very soon. I hope you guys have a great day.